Well, why did this actually scare me at first? I'm sick of Tiny Tim playing. Ah, what are you doing? Stop! Get out, that was creepy, that was creepy. Well done, well done, that's the one that got me today. Also stop playing stupid games. Don't flick your light on and off, you know? Just leave it on, or off, or just go away. Leave me alone. 70 to learn about the Earth's crust. It took them 19 years to drill until they broke through a cavity where they lowered equipment, including a heat. Resistant Mick. The temperature was 1100 degrees C or 2000 degrees F. They recorded 17 seconds of before the microphone melted. Whoa. That's actually quite distressing to hear. That's a really horrible sound. I didn't like that one bit. I thought the sounds of hell would be like a party, you know, like WAP is on the radio and everyone's just drinking and having a merry time. Unless they are happy, but their screams don't sound happy. That sounds like pure pain and distress. Reminds me of sounds from the London dungeon. It's such, so specific, but you know, they play sounds from way back when, when everyone was sad, because, you know, living in the any other century was kind of bleak. Not much going on, you know? You had the plague, fire of London, everyone was just kind of dying. Everyone was expiring at the same time, so everyone was just kind of sad, no one was really happy. Just like we Would talked you? about being nice to the kitten, okay? Die! He doesn't. You will die! Sylvester! Okay, yeah, he's pissed. Die! We should probably go. Die! It's like he's possessed by a demon, I don't know. I'm so sorry about this, Izzy. Okay. No. No, that's fake. Gotta be, got to be. That guy added those effects for sure. That cat is talking and saying, die, die. you will die. die. I mean, I would believe it if a cat did that because cats are evil which is why I like them so much. But that has to be fake. He was way too calm for that to be fake. I really hope that's fake. Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Central Dark, your place for all things horror. I'm your host, Lucy McVee, and these are the scary TikToks that will keep you up tonight, part four. And I'm back on the green screen. Can't get rid of me again. I'm never filming from home again, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> that's the threat. <laughs> Ah, oh. This is some motion test footage. Oh. No. Ooh. Is that a mask or a face? No, I hate that. I don't like when people move like that or people like can contort their bodies or like double jointed and move so stiffly. It's like reminds me of like the ring or the grudge. Ugh. Don't like it. Don't come at me with your arms like this. Come at me normally, you know? People do not really care much if a commonly found fish has washed up on the beach, but they are definitely intrigued if it is a huge animal they haven't really seen before. A giant mysterious creature got the better of people when the carcass washed up on a beach in Indonesia and they couldn't figure out what ah. it exactly was to their utter astonishment. The 15 meter long creature, weighing approximately 35 tons floating in the water, also ended up making it red and also a public spectacle. Well, okay, just a shot in the dark here. It kind of looks like a whale, a beached whale, which is often how I describe myself when I see a picture of me, a beached whale. <laughs> but this looks like a legitimate beached whale. It does. I don't think it looks strange. Maybe it looks like it's rotting. Maybe it was like attacked by a shark, started to rot a bit, kind of became a little deformed. The skin coloration has changed. Soul exiting a body. While there are many people who believe humans have no soul, 
The majority of us believe in the afterlife. This video from a Chinese hospital captures something extraordinary. As the woman on the stretcher dies, the CCTV camera records her soul slowly leaving her body. At first, we can see a transparent entity sitting up on the stretcher, and then it gently glides away, leaving the woman's body behind. Okay, it was hard for me to see, so I'm just going to guess. And I think whatever I say is right most of the time. It looked to me like there was a body on this bed, and they are in a state of expiration. <laughs> they are currently expiring, to put it nicely. And then their soul was like, yeet, and peaced out. So they died. They expired. Here's a chilling video from India. The camera is placed outside a morgue where the gurneys are usually kept. In the area, we see a couple of stretchers and some other medical equipment. Before long, we see something blinking in the center of the screen that looks something like a human figure. We then see one of the gurneys move slightly forward and then a couple of feet back. Then, a couple seconds later, the stretcher moves more than 10 feet forward and again the same distance backwards. After rolling back and forth for a few seconds... Ooh, that's creepy. I mean, I didn't see the blinking of said human figure, but I trust that it was there. I would credit this to the wind, but the wind just doesn't go boo, boo, boo. Usually it goes one way, and it also doesn't go boo, boo, boo. It goes... That's more legit, I'd say. That's creepy. Anyway, the ghost is just probably moving it, you know? What are you doing if you saw this while driving at night? Oh, I hate this song. Tiptoe. Ah! Um, that was a cult. A cult who love briefcases and suits, apparently. That's freaky sh Yeah, if I saw that at night, I don't know what I would do. Speed up? Just kidding. I don't condone that. I would uh, just reverse and go the other way. Like, wherever you're going, you don't need to go that way anymore. That's terrifying. What are the gang doing in suits and briefcases? What's in their briefcases? They look like those um, creepy guys from Buffy. You know, the guys that float around the town. I've actually never seen Buffy. I've watched a couple of episodes and I was like, this is overhyped. A man survived a sunken ship for nearly three days, 279 feet underwater. Missed the rest, to be honest. I'm sure he's fine. He's in a sunken ship, underwater, for three days. How? The ship sunken, it said it was 279 feet underwater? Something like that. And he's there for three days. How is the water not everywhere? After three days? Surely it would be everywhere. Because we all saw Titanic and the water was everywhere after just a few hours. There's surely not an air bubble for that long. What's he up to? I think he lied. I don't trust. I bet he filmed that at home. She doesn't live there, does she? He didn't seem to know her. <laughs> That's not his child. Whose child is it? I don't like that. That's my biggest fear, actually, now that I am living alone. Every time I open my bedroom door, I do get scared that someone's just gonna be like, there, hi, you know, hi. How scary would that be? Just opening a door and someone's just like, yo. They wouldn't say yo, they'd probably just like, like, you know. Well, there we have it. Thanks for tuning into this video. I've been your host, Lisa McPhee. Stick around for bloopers. Oh, it's nice to be filming back here. God bless. God bless. I hope I'm the exact same. Because I'm great. <laughs> hope when I expire, I come back as me again. <laughs> when, it's the best way to put it. I don't want to say when I die. When I expire.
I'm not gonna expire for a while, but I could expire any minute. Like, you just never know. Like, something could fall through the roof and I'm like, expired. Or it could be, you know, the animal from The Never Ending Story? What's it called? You seen The Never Ending Story? No. Oh, you know, foul, 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 foul something. Foul, cunt. Not a falcon. Foul, what? No, I don't know. Far away. I'm sorry. I'd see nothing. I don't know what they're talking about. I absolutely see nothing. I can't even react to it. There's nothing there. Like, I went right up close. It's hard to see because it's like black on black, so I can't see very well. And to that, I say facts. Just cut that part. I don't know why I'm being like this. Also, I was gonna, uh, I have a comment I'm reacting to in top five later. Someone told me someone got swallowed by a whale just the other day. It's really playing on my mind and I don't know if people are lying to me, but two, multiple people told me it happened. And that is one of my biggest fears in life and I thought it was the most irrational fear because it doesn't happen. But it happened to someone. They ended up in the mouth of a whale. It's honestly my biggest fear. Now it's happened and now I really will never go in the ocean again. Anyway, I just had to get that out of my system. I'm quite upset.